Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is find the amount and the compound interest on rupees 5000 at 10% per annum for one whole one by two years compounded interest uh, account semi annually. So, therefore, this is our questions and our solve this. So, first, you write our information that are being given. So, write the principal. It is given rupees 5000. Now the rate of interest, it is given, that is 10% per annum, say right, 10% per annum. So now the rate of interest, it is given that compound interest recount semi-annually. So that means the compound interest will be taken in terms of 6 months or half year. So therefore, if 10% is the uh, interest for, I mean the rate of interest for 1 year, so therefore this will be become half, so it become 10 by 2, cut, so it become 5% per half year so with this 5% only you have to find out the answer and the time is equal to given 1 whole 1 by 2 years so 1 whole 1 by 2 years we can easily say that it is 1 year and 6 months so this also have to convert in terms of 6 months so therefore in 1 year 6 months and in 1 year there are 2 6 months so therefore total 3 6 months so therefore you can write that 3 half year so now, now these are the information I write the formula that is therefore amount is equals to formula is principal into 1 plus r by 100 or the rate by 100 to the power n where n is the time. So you put the values principal is 5000 into 1 plus rate is 5% by 100 to the power n to the power n means to the power 3. So now you can write the so first you do the inside portion of the. 5000 so here only you can cut that 500 it will become 20 1 by 20 so now into so it become 1 plus 1 by 20 so you can now you can take 20 as the um, yeah, lcm now 20 into 1 20 plus 1 to the power 3 so it become 5000 into now 20 plus 1 that is 21 by 20 so to the power 3 that means this 21 by 20 will be written three times so at 3 times 21 by 20 into 21 by 20. So this is under value. So now I cut the zeros. So now it remains 5 into 21 into 21 into 21 by 2 into 2 into 2. So I put the values at 5 into 21 into 21 into 21 by 2 into 2 into 2. So this we will do it in a rough. So first 21 into 21 you do 21 into 21 1 1 is a 1, 1 2 is a 2 2 1 is a 2, 2 2 is a 4 So it becomes 441 So now with this again into 21 you have to do So now 1, 4, 4 into Now 2 into 1, 2 2 4 is a 8 2 4 is a 8 So 1, 4, 5, 6 12, 9 So it becomes 9261 into 5 Now you have to do this number into 5, this is equal 9 to 6, 1 into 5, 5 and 5, 5, 6 is 30, 3 carry, now 1 carry, 46. So it becomes 46,305. So it becomes 46,305 by 2 into 2 into 2, that is 8. So now you will divide it, 46305. Sorry, I forgot to give the 5. So now, 8, 5 is 40, you can write first. Now 63, that means. Now 7 is 56, you can write. 7 is 56 means the remainder will be 7. Now 0 comes down. So now it will become 8, 8 is 64. So remainder is 6. Now 5 comes down. So again, 8, 8 is 64. The remainder 1. So I put a decimal point here. Now 0, 8, 1, 0, 8. So remainder now 2. So again I give 1, 0 here. So now it will become 2. 2 is a 16. Now remainder 4. So now again 1 is more 0. So now finally 5 is a 40. So therefore amount is equal to rupees 5,788.125. So now we will find out the compound interest, that is our last task. 
so therefore write ci is equal to or the compound interest will be is equal to the formula is amount minus principal so amount we got this one that is 5788.125 minus the principal that is 5000 so it becomes rupees 788.125 so therefore the amount for this question is 5788.125 and the compound interest is 788.125 so therefore these are the final answer for these questions so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions